What's up, Coasted Demons? This is my top 13 favorite because it's a six high grade adventure. Number 13 is Roadrunner Railway. This is a kitty coaster, so obviously this is going to come in last. Number 12 is Runaway Mine Train. This ride is horrible. It is rough, jerky, and painful. I really don't like this ride. When it goes over the lake, it's the only cool part. This is actually my f fourth least favorite roadster. Number 11 is Harley Quinn Crazy Train. This is a fun family coaster that I very much enjoy. I haven't been in it in a while, but this year I plan on riding it again to see how good it is. It's definitely better than the Runaway Mine Train, though. Number 10 is the Dark Knight Coaster. Originally, I didn't like this ride. I thought it was painful and rough. But after riding it again this year, I found out this is one of the smoothest wild mouse coasters I've ever ridden. The theming is sick. I love the pre-show. It's an awesome ride. The trains are some of my favorite trains out there. This is just a fun ride. And the indoor fact makes it very cool. The Dark Knight is my favorite wild mouse coaster I've ridden. It's a very enjoyable ride, and I definitely like it. Number 9 is School Mountain. This is a unique roller coaster, and I love the theming on this ride. I love how you're going around in the pitch blackness, and this ride is pitch dark, unlike the Dark Knight. It also has a very creative layout, and it's pretty intense, actually, since it's in the dark. I love the way this ride moves, and it's just fun. I love the sound effects. It's just a good ride. It's a good family coaster. It's just a good ride. I really like School Mountain for what it is. Number 8 is Batman the Ride. Now, this ride is kind of rough, I feel like. However, over the years, I feel like it got smoother. It is kind of jerky, that last corkscrew is rough, but I like the beginning. It's very forceful, and this is a very compact and intense ride. I like Batman the ride, it's just not my favorite invert out there. It's a fun inverted coaster. I find it to be very forceful, and probably one of the most intense coasters I've ever been in. It's a fun, enjoyable ride, however, it does. it is a teeny bit rough. I love that zero G bowl. That is my favorite part of the ride. It is nice. And those two vertical loops are awesome. Number seven is the Joker. This ride's pretty unique. I like the 40 free flies part of it, but it's not the best coaster there. This ride is pretty smooth, and it's very intense. I really like the Joker. It is kind of a short ride, but it's still very enjoyable. Sure, I wish it was longer, but I still like the way the Joker runs. It's definitely one of the most fun walks I've been in, and it is pretty intense and wacko. Yes, I'm going to use Wacko to describe this roadster. This ride is fun, and I really enjoy the Joker. It just, it's really fun. It's a fun ride to ride. Six is Green Lantern. This is an awesome roller coaster, stand-up coaster. Many people are like, what? What is Green Lantern doing here? This should be behind Batman the Ride and the Joker. Well, guys, I don't think so. This ride is awesome, and I really like it. It's just fun, smooth, and tense, and it's just a ride I really enjoy. I really like Green Lantern. I find it to be a very smooth and enjoyable coaster. Sure, there might be a little bit of a rough part there, but Green Lantern is definitely one of the smoothest coasters in the park. It is also very awesome, and I find this ride to be very intense. I know a lot of people are going to hate me on this because I put Green Lantern in front of Batman and Ride and the Joker, but guys, I seriously think Green Lantern is better than both of those coasters. This ride is just awesome, and it has a very creative way out. I also love the logo on it. I think it looks really cool.
five is Superman Ultimate Flight. This is a very fun flying coaster. Sure, it might be a little bit gentle, but I still really like it. Some of the parts of this ride are very intense. That pretzel loop provides great hang time. And if you're in the back of this, if you're sitting in the back, I recommend sitting in the back. The front row is fun, but the back is intense. If you want an intense ride on Superman, sit in the back. This ride's awesome. Also, the rest of these coasters in this top five all made my top 25 favorite roller coasters. So yeah, so Superman made that. And the rest of these coasters coming up also made it. So guys, be ready to see the rest. Number four is Bizarro, the original forest coaster. This ride is smooth, intense, and very fun. Those inversions are really fun. I really like Bizarro. It's definitely one of the smoother roller coasters I've ridden out there. This is my favorite forest coaster out there. It is better than Hydra the Revenge and Dominator, I think. This ride's fun, and I really like it. However, I heard rumors that this might be removed, and I really don't want it to be removed. I love this ride so much, and it has a very big uh, spot in my heart. This ride goes upside down a lot, and it's intense, and the theming is awesome. It's fun, intense, and I love the inversions. Number three is Nitro. Originally, Nitro was my seventh favorite work sir, at Six Flags Great Adventure, but after riding it so many times, Nitro has totally moved up on this list. It is an awesome hyper coaster, very smooth, and I find this ride to be intense, and it does have airtime. I don't know what the heck people are talking about with this ride does not have airtime, and it has fun airtime. Nitro is just a fun coaster. I really like that drop. The drop feels like it lasts forever, and the clamshells, when they don't staple you, provide some great floater airtime. This is just a fun hyper coaster. And one of my favorites out there. I prefer this over Intimidator at Carowinds, without a doubt. <laughs> number two is El Toro. Now you're probably wondering, are you kidding me? El Toro number two? Well, guys... I love El Toro. Yes, I do love El Toro. This is my third favorite roller coaster. But I find King Nika to be a better ride. Alright, so you all know what number one is. El Toro has great airtime, and it was one of the most intense roller coasters I've ever ridden. I love the airtime on this ride. And for a winning coaster, this is absolutely awesome. This is my favorite roller coaster out there. I love El Toro. Oh, it is a nice, fun ride. And that, ver and that vertical drop is awesome. The airtime elements are awesome on this ride. And those sharp turns are awesome. Number one is King Ka. This used to be my number one favorite roller coaster, but was dethroned by Fiori 325 this summer. I love King Ka. The height, the speed. This ride is awesome. I just enjoy this ride. Sure, those plastic restraints might not be good, but I don't mind them. That airtime hill at the end of it is absolutely amazing. You get some great airtime. And at the top of that hill, if you look to your left, you will see the hall park from a great view. King Ka is my second favorite roller coaster right now. I love it so much. It is such a fun ride, and I really enjoy it. I don't know why people don't like respect this ride that much. It's really good, and it's pretty smooth when you sit in the front row. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Tell me if you agree with my list, and make sure to, to check out my new list, because there's plenty of new top 10 roller coaster lists coming out. As of now, keep coasting on my coaster demons. Peace out.